Did you ever watch that film, Splash, with Tom Hanks and Daryl Hannah? If you want to feel like a mermaid, carry on watching. Cue the intro. Hi, I'm Gabby and welcome back to another edition of The Fragrantition. If you are an existing subscriber here, welcome. Good to have you back. And if you are a new viewer, please don't forget to like, comment, and most of all, all important, subscribe. That helps make my channel grow. I would appreciate it. So today we have, it's not an unboxing. I have used it. This is, look at this little bottle here. This is by the house of Nina Ritchie, and it's called Jean, Jean d'Extase. Jean d'Extase, yes. Yes, Jean d'Extase. So this um, is a limited edition fragrance. Look at the packaging on it. I don't normally keep boxes, but I had to keep this box because, if you know, I love anything to do with mermaids. And um, I have, the mermaids have a bit of a story, especially for, for me um, as, a, um, as a transgender woman, because they, mermaids have no genitalia. So um, they are seen as an emblem for, tra for, for transgender people. So um, yeah, so I've always loved mermaids. I, I don't know why, ever since a child, I've always loved it. And when I saw the film Splash when I was about 11 or 12, um, I wanted to be Daryl Hannah in that video so much. You know, I think they revamped it and remade it, but you know, that original film was amazing. So yes, so I think this is what Daryl Hannah would wear in the film Splash. So, um, yes, yeah, so let's unbox it. So, you you know, it's a beautiful bottle. It's got beautifully embossed here, which is lovely. It's got the mermaid there on the front. So I think I will put the notes up above. This is a, a vanilla woody fragrance, I think, but put the bottle to the side. So this is the bottle here. Just show it to you. You've, you've got that. Sorry if you can see my finger marks there. You've got that embossed Nina Ritchie logo on the bottom there. And you've got the cap here. So it's similar to the other um, Rose Extase, Rose Extase Absolute, all of those. It's similar with the bottle top here. Lovely stopper. The stopper is so heavy, so heavy. Oh, I don't like to shake my fragrance. So heavy, so take that off. So. Let's spray this and see what it smells like. I've used a little bit of it. There's a bit of dent in here. On first spray, it's got, it has an almost, yes, it does have an almost beachy or aquatic water note to it like you've just splashed into the water and that i don't know how they've recreated it but you you get that feeling immediately but it's got a little bit of sweetness but not too much sweetness do you know what i haven't a clue what are the notes are in this fragrance i'm just going off by what i'm getting from it but i say the notes are will be above me but Oh, it's lovely. Do you know what? I oh, I haven't used this in a while. But I think when I say it's beachy and aquatic, it's not like a summer fragrance. You could wear this all year round. You really could. Because it has something in there. I don't know what it is. That grounds it. Brings it that adds that bit of depth to it. Yep. Ghetto Bill. Ghetto Bill. So, can we just take a moment? Yeah. I know. 
<laughs> I could edit it, but hey, here we go. Okay. So, so yeah, so I digress. So it has that something in there that gives it a bit of depth to it, a bit of depth. And I do like it. I'm going to pop this on my skin because I just want to see what it's like on my skin from paper. Do the um, wrestle, as I call it. Oh, yes. It has some sort of wood woodiness to it as well it smells different on my skin to paper but I still get that that kind of sea vibe it's hard to describe it's like you're on a um, cruise line or a boat and you can smell that sea air it has that bit of freshness to it. Oh, and it's it's quite overwhelming, actually, but overwhelming in a good way. Reminds me a bit of my childhood when I was down in Dorset and Devon. That kind of like on the boat. Yeah, really, really lovely. This this is this is so overlooked so overlooked this could be day fragrance this could be night fragrance this could be all year round this um this is different to olympia by paca rabanne which has like a salty vibe this this doesn't have a salty vibe it has an aquatic seawater note vibe it's it has a mermaid vibe <laughs> that's the only way i can describe it Hence the bottle and the juice. Why I overlooked this, I do not know, because I've had this some time. I've, I've only just like sprayed it and, you know, tested it and never really thought anything about it, really. So this is kind of like a real first impression, really. But yeah, it's gorgeous. I, I'm glad I got this. I really am glad I got this. And I would say, actually, I prefer this on first impressions to um, Rose Ecstatic, which is a completely different fragrance. It has more rose in it, which more jammy rose. And I do like jammy rose, but this is completely different. I don't know if you can still get it. I got it several months ago, but go check it out online. Yes. Yeah. That is Nina Ritchie, Chant d'Extas. I'll pop it back in its bottle again, because I, I, I'm glad I kept the bottle, because I, I just loved, and I do love, that mermaid on it yeah beautiful because normally I toss all my bottles but when it's if it's like a limited edition or it's a preform re reformulated version then yes I do like to keep the bottle so yes yeah, so that's Chant d'Extas by Nina Ritchie so tell me below have you tried this fragrance do you like it do you not like it have you tried any Nina Ritchie fragrances what Nina Ritchie fragrances do you like I own a couple um, and yeah this is I would say one of my tops yeah so yeah so don't forget to like comment and subscribe please that makes my channel grow i do appreciate it and don't forget you've been watching another edition of the fragrantition don't forget don't just dab it on slap it on till the next time ciao